This is BBC One. The six o'clock news from the BBC with Andrew Harvey and Jill Dando. Good evening. The headlines at six o'clock. Roger Cooper is back home in Britain after five years and four months in an Iranian jail. He was greeted by his family at the airport and said he'd survived by sheer bloody-mindedness. His release has raised new hopes for British hostages in Lebanon. A Dutch court has jailed a man from Northern Ireland for 18 years for the murder of two Australian tourists. In Iraq, hundreds of thousands of refugees are on the march. France appeals to the UN to stop brutal repression. And the leader of the biggest teachers union tells his members, strike action must be the last resort. Roger Cooper's release from prison in Iran came without warning. Tehran Radio said simply the British businessman had been released and immediately deported after serving his sentence for spying. So at 10 o'clock this morning, less than 12 hours after being told he was free, Roger Cooper arrived at Heathrow Airport. His brother, there to meet him, described it as the most wonderful Easter present. The Prime Minister, John Major, was delighted. He hoped British hostages in Lebanon would also be freed. John Waite, cousin of one of the hostages, Terry Waite, said, this brightens the sky a heck of a lot. Shortly after landing, Roger Cooper told reporters he believed he'd been arrested because he matched the Iranian image of a British spy. But he said a confession he made on Iranian television was staged. Peter Gould now reports. Only hours after being taken from his prison cell, not knowing where he was going, Roger Cooper found himself on a flight to London, enjoying the taste of freedom. His first English breakfast for several years brought a readjustment to normal life. This is also the first time I've held a fork in my hand for five more years. In prison, he explained, he had only a spoon at mealtimes. 